Chris from TechMatic here with the Aki solar phone charger and LED light. This is a cool little charger, 1200 milliamps. And as you see here, one charging port outputs 2.4 amps, one charging port outputs 1 amp. It is seemingly at least water resistant. And here are the USB ports. See the one is a USB 3.0 style, the other one is standard USB, and you also have a charging port in addition to the solar charging. I've had this for yeah, about six months, maybe eight months, and keep it on the dash of my truck so it gets the sun. Unfortunately the heat has caused the solar panel to start delaminating here as you can see. And more unfortunately, it no longer charges a phone. This is your standard, standard anchor USB cable. You'll see if I plug it in, it is extremely loose. The tolerances here are a little wide open to begin with. If you can see, there you go, you can see the tolerances are a little bit open. But unfortunately, this has gone horribly wrong. So we're going to try to take this apart here and see what has gone wrong inside of it. No visible screw holes, anything like that, other than this one seam here. When this did work, it actually worked quite well. Never really had to recharge it. I would use it to top off my phone, put it back on the dash, and it would charge right up. Starting to open. Looks like this was just an adhesive seal the whole way around. There we go. All right, so two wires going to the solar panel. Large flat style battery here. I have to snip the wires for the solar panel, unfortunately. I'll snip it right at the solder point so I can solder it back on. If I'm able to fix this. Ooh solar panel is actually loose from the cover here. So this is all just adhesive. So I don't really think this was much waterproof at all, unfortunately. You see how that's delaminating? That's just adhesive failing. Plastic ring here. Oh, there's a lot of adhesive in this. There we are. So here's the circuit board. It looks like that's our issue right here. And uh, maybe not. There is a screw holding the circuit board in here. A couple screws actually. I don't see any flexion in the circuit board towards this direction. Let's see if we can get that light turned off. There we are. Will the battery come loose? That's ah, in there pretty good. Let's take these screws out. Keep in mind this is somewhat dangerous because this is a live battery. There's really no way to shut that down. So this is energized as I'm doing everything here. I 
and there we are. Okay, there is the problem. You can see these USB ports have actually come totally loose from the circuit board. At least that one has, that they both have. So, Aki, you made a good product, but unfortunately your solder points do not hold up to typical use. If you guys can fix this, it's a pretty cool product. Unfortunately, this is a severe failure point and it's killed the device. So I'm not going to put this in the beware file just yet. Hopefully someone at Aki sees this video and R&D or engineering can go back and maybe reinforce these some. Um,